Hey everybody, John here. I have a very simple, basic test for everybody. It's centered around trash bins. Bins, as you would call them in the UK. Trash cans, as you would call them in the US. But regardless, these are obstacles that you need to be aware of when you're driving, because sometimes the wind will blow them into the middle of the road. So I am in a residential area. Let me just clarify for anybody that's new my name is John and I document the progress of full self-driving here in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. Every time I get a new version, I head into the city and put it through the ultimate stress test. I am on a Hardware 3 vehicle. This is a 2019 Model 3, a long range rear wheel drive Model 3. And I have the latest version of the software, the full self-driving software on this car, which is 12.5.4.2. So now that we've gotten all the basics out of the way, I did notice that trash can visualizations have disappeared with full self-driving. Case in point, I'm here on a side street. I'm gonna put it into drive. And if I move it so it's full screen, you can see obviously there's two right in front of me right now, but nothing is being displayed on the screen. So I'm gonna just gonna creep forward and just really drive home the point that these are not being displayed anymore. But what I don't know is what happens if the wind blows and that trash can now comes into the middle of the road? Is it displayed then? Well, it's a really good question. I don't know, I've never tested it. And the other question I have is what happens if it's right behind you? Will it recognize and actually stop or give you an indication? Previously, if there was an obstacle behind your car, nothing would happen. It would, wouldn't give you a warning, it would allow you to hit it completely. And I do have a test coming up soon with a person pushing me from behind, tailgating me. What happens to full self-driving? Does it speed up? If it does, how much will it speed up? You know, will it go beyond the speed limit on the road? I believe it will, but how, how far can you actually push it? Now I have to be careful with that one because there is an illegal aspect to that test, right? And I can't really do push it too far but I'm willing to go 5, 10 over the speed limit, at least for science. <laughs> and most people drive over the speed limit anyway, so it's a, a fine line there. But I'm definitely not gonna be pushing it you know, 30 miles over the speed limit. But as you can see, there's no trash cans being displayed whatsoever. Now, what I did discover is, check this out. I'm gonna stop right next to this trash can right here. It looks like we've got two of them. I'm curious if these are both gonna be displayed because if I change from, if I go into the menu system into autopilot, I can now change to the auto steer and look at this. Now they get displayed and you can't go full screen when you're in the auto steer, which I like to call autopilot and then traffic aware tr cruise control or tack that also will display these trash cans. So interesting. And now once you go all the way down to tack, if you wanna bring it back up to the more advanced features, you do have to put it into park. So I'm gonna put it into park, go back to auto steer, acknowledge the little message there, and then put it back into drive. And they're showing up. And it's actually really cool because you can zoom in. It's showing two trash cans right there. Now, I brought a trash can and I have it in the back seat. And I'm gonna be taking that out here. It's, this is a quiet road. It's around 12.45 p.m. I'm on my lunch break. I should be able to test this without any interruptions, but as you can see, like right in front of me, there's a car coming. So there might be a, some awkwardness. Someone might be like, hey, what's this dude doing? But generally speaking, nobody really cares about someone doing a test in, in a neighborhood like this. So I'm gonna test that and I'm gonna do it with and without the visualizations. I'm pretty sure that full self-driving has just disabled those to save on memory because every single object you display takes ex extra processing power, right? So that is most likely the reason why they no longer show up. So the first test is going to be with full self-driving. And what I'm gonna do is grab my trash can right now, put it out in front, and we're gonna see, it's gonna be pretty obvious that it's gonna go around the trash can, but let's test it out. We'll go back into the menu here and Oh, looks like we got to put it in park to, to bring it up to FSD supervised. Great. And we'll put it back in drive. 
and we'll expand the visualizations. So I'm gonna get out of the car and put this in front of my vehicle and see what happens. I'm gonna put it right in front of my car to start. I mean, it's gonna be like directly blocking it. And my guess is it's, it's going to actually go. Um, well, we're gonna see, I've never tried this before. Okay, as you can see, it's directly in front of my car. I, I don't know what's going Oh, it's showing a person there. <laughs> it thinks that's a person. That's kind of freaky. Uh, so it looks like it's not even letting me turn it on. I'm waiting for the steering wheel icon to show up. And it's not allowing me to turn it on at all. But you can see the path is trying to go around that object. It is kind of swerving there to the left. And it's saying stop. And I believe those red symbols are the ultrasonic sensors that still get displayed. I could be wrong, but my car has the ultrasonic sensors in it. So it's saying stop. I just stepped on the brake and it's not letting me turn it on at all. I'm going to just go forward a little bit. Okay, there. Now we're hitting it. And now the steering wheel icon shows up. So I was able to go forward a little bit and it says stop. So it's obvious that it sees something there and there's the red, but you no longer get the path and it lets me now turn it on. Now the cameras in front of the car should easily be able to see the trash can. And just to confirm that, I'm going to show you here. I'm going to put it into park. I'm going to go into the software menu, hold down on the model here on the name, and then I'm gonna go into the service menu, type in service, enter. And what's nice is in the service mode, you can see the front cameras. Normally you never ever have that view available to you. So let's just confirm that the cameras can obviously see this obstacle. So to do this, you have to go into the driver assist and touch on cameras and you do camera preview. And you have to give it a little bit of time here. There it is. So you can see the, the trash can really clearly in the front. And if I go wide, there it is. So <laughs> that is uh, you know very obviously in the way. It should pick that up. Let's see, narrow. Even in the narrow view, it, it shows it up. So there is a trash can in the way of my car. So I'm gonna X out of there and close out a service mode. And now I'm gonna put it back into drive and give it a second here. Okay, steering wheel icon shows up. Question is, what happens when I enable full self-driving? I'm gonna do that in just a moment. We have a car coming up behind us. I don't want anybody around when I do this test. Now, if I had a brand new Tesla, in other words, like a 2024 model, I probably wouldn't test this out because any small scratch or imperfection on the paint is like a nightmare for a new car owner. But hey, this car is five and a half years old, so I'm okay pushing it a little bit further than I normally would. So let's try this out. The car just passed. Let's turn it on. Good. It's not going. But there are cases where you're parked and you turn it on and it doesn't go. So is this one of those situations or is it really reacting to that obstacle in front of me. The only way to find out is to step on the accelerator. I'm going to do this very gently. Okay. It's pushing the trash can forward. And usually what would happen is by this point, after you start moving a little bit, it would take off. But as you can see, it's not taking off at all. And it's just pushing the trash can with my car. That's a really good sign that it is not going forward. It sees that obstacle and it, it will not proceed. And I don't know that what it 
what it sees it as. Initially, it saw it as a human, but obviously it's not a human. So now that we know it won't go over the trash can, I'm gonna try putting it behind us. But first of all, let's just see if we can get it to show up on the screen. So I'm gonna disable, cancel out of there, and I'm gonna go in reverse, turn off the turn signal there, and let's go forward and just see what gets displayed. You can see a little bit of gray matter showing up there. So it is seeing an object there. And let's see, see the path? The, the tentacle's saying, we need to go around this. You know, this is a problem. There's, there's something in the way. <laughs> so let's go back and let's turn it on. Now I don't have a destination dialed in here, but let's do that. Let's put a destination in. Okay. Perfect. So it's just going to go forward here. Now, to me, it's really obvious what's going to happen. It's going to go around this trash can, uh, even though it doesn't display it. I was really hopeful that it would see it, but let's get this test out of the way. And unfortunately, I can't enable the auto steer or the what's also known as autopilot. Here comes a car, so I'm just going to protect them from this trash can in the middle of the road okay <laughs> and here comes another car just my luck okay so in auto steer i can't enable it unless i'm on a main road and then you know you have to have the lines on the road and on the main roads where there's lines usually you don't have trash cans so i don't think i'll be able to test that with auto steer with trash cans wait for this next car to pass great okay here we go yeah pretty pretty self-explanatory there went straight around it so you know I could do that all day long I could string a whole bunch of trash cans and I'm not going to grab other people's trash cans without communicating with them first, but I could string a whole line of trash cans and basically trap my Tesla. That would definitely be possible. But here, let's just see what happens as I approach it going in reverse. If I get any message showing up, see it's right there. Nothing showing up except right here. And yeah, it lets me actually hit the trash can so it didn't apply the brakes it didn't do anything I'm gonna go a little bit faster and this is again I'm gonna test it going manually I can't test it automatically you know going in reverse because it won't actually go in reverse but uh, if if we turn around what we can do is try to have it auto park itself and I'll put a trash can in the way of the auto park space and see if it will actually go through that trash can because it will always go in reverse to do the auto park. So here coming up, I'm gonna speed up a little bit. Yeah, see it wasn't stopping the car, it wasn't giving me any, any indication. It's like it's not, not even there. So, and that's because reverse is a manual operation. So the real question is when it is automated, will it stop for an obstacle? So let's do that. I'll, I'll throw the trash can in my car and we're gonna head up here where you can see a parked car on the other side of the road. And we're gonna to try to auto park right next to them with a trash can in the way. So I'm going to now put the trash can right there in that spot really quickly while no one's looking. Okay, we have the trash can there and I'm gonna drive really slowly just see if it allows me to see the spot. It still does. So there's the spot, but you can see it offset the spot because that trash can's there. So let's select it and just see what happens here. Oh, look at that, there it is. There's the visualization of the trash can showing up there. So it's gonna park basically right in front of that trash can 
and I will be jutting out, it looks like, just a little bit in front of this person's driveway. But it is letting me, and look at this, you can see the trash cans in the auto park view. They, they do show up there. This is fascinating. It will let me park here and it knows it sees that space and is like, yeah, I think I can make that work, but we're just going to see how far the car is jutting out in front of this driveway. To me, this is not a good spot to park in. <laughs> yeah, I'm like totally blocking their driveway. Let me give you a kind of a view. It's hard to see maybe through the cameras. I'm just going to move my camera so you can see how inappropriate this parking is. And then what I'm going to do uh, real quick before the, oh, my lunch break is already over. <laughs> I'm going to move the trash can forward just a tiny bit and see if it will still park itself. I doubt it will. I think it'll say, hey, that's not a spot because it's blocked. Uh, but I, for the next test, I'm going to tilt it on its side and move it forward. So it's a big obstacle, but it's like the wind blew it over type of thing. But yeah, let's take a look at this parking job here. It could be worse. I will admit it could be worse. It actually surprised me standing out. It looks like it's not completely blocked. This is a wide entrance driveway, so someone can still go through there. But what I'm gonna do now, like I said, is move the car forward just a little bit and move that trash can forward and tilt it on its side and repeat this same test. Okay, now you can see it is right in the way and it's moved forward as if the wind blew it down and we're gonna see if it still lets us park here. It looks like it's intelligent enough to know now that it cannot park itself. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. I'll have to say, let's just go back one more time. The neighbors here are starting to catch on to me doing some experiments. So I'm gonna have to move on here. Otherwise I could get reported here. <laughs> You know, who does this, right? Only me, only the crazy guys. So there, that spot's showing up. But this one, it's like, nope, not gonna go there. It sees that trash can, and that one's still showing up as a human. And it will not let me park there anymore. So if you go, I think as long as you're going under six miles an hour, it will allow you to see those parking spaces. But as you can tell, it is just absolutely not being displayed at all for that particular spot. All right, I think that's a wrap. Uh, we, we really tested these trash can scenarios, I think, quite extensively here today. I hope you guys learned something. Maybe some of you didn't know some of these things. In particular, one that I didn't know was going in reverse. Did it still ignore those objects? And the answer is yes, it does. And that's the only way to test it is manually. Uh, and the auto park, it does see them and it does avoid them. So that's a really good thing and that's to be expected. So hopefully there will be some indication like a, like you have a forward collision warning. Hopefully there'll be something added for going in reverse in the future when there's an object because it is very obvious that the car can see them both in front and in back. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button, uh, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.